Hi guys, uh, good evening all. Uh, good evening all. In today's session, we will, uh, let me recap what we were discussed in yesterday's class, followed by I will discuss about the rest of things to discuss in today's session. So I started about SQL. What is the full form of SQL, guys? Can someone summarize what is the full form of SQL? Anil, Akshay, what is the full form of SQL, guys? Let's let it be an interactive session. What is the full form of SQL, guys? Structured, structured query language. language. Structured query language. So language is nothing. What do you mean by general language means? Language, general meaning of language. What do you mean by language? Let's say communication. Communication. Yeah. Com language is nothing but communication. Communication of what? In between people or in between things or in between objects. Generally, communication Objects. between two people or two systems to exchange the information from one person to another person. Let's say I'm delivering the class. We are discussing in English language so that everyone can able to understand. Query. So language is a, language is a communication to interact, to discuss something. So how they are communicating one person to another person or one system to other system by using a query. Query is nothing but a programming language. Query is a programming language. So, query is a query language, is a language which is used to communicate with a database. Which is, is a communicate with a database. So, who is communicating with the database? User. User means like you and me. Everyone are communicating directly. Hey, I cannot communicate. Hey, database, give me Suya information. Hey, database, give me uh, obscene information. Hey, database, give me, uh, let's say, Kalpana information. Is, uh, does database able to provide you? I think no. Definitely no. By default, no. However, in order to communicate with a database, we require a language. That language is called query language. That language is called query language. Structured query language. What do you mean by structured? Structured is nothing but it is a general kind of table information. It is a general kind of table information. To communicate with the information which is available in a table format, we are going to use a programming language that is called SQL. Understood? In simple layman language. Any confusion? Ariharan, any doubt? Any confusion? Any doubt? Definitely. No. Okay. Now in today's session, already we discussed about what is SQL, history of SQL, why SQL is so important, what are the popular database where people are using, why we need to choose MySQL database, and uh, also if time permit, we will discuss about the installation of the uh, installation of MySQL. So let me explain you one. Let me explain you one by one example slowly. So. Let's say, who is this? Should I give you information? Who is this guy? Can I guess who is this guy? Name? What is the name of this guy? What is the name of this guy? Sachin. Sachin. So when he was playing cricket, when he was playing cricket prior to 2013 or 2014, everyone in the stadium chant Sachin, Sachin, Sachin. And it is a god of cricket. People used to call him a god of god of cricket. It is one of all time. Cricketer, best cricketer in the world, either it could be Test or Odia. He is the only one guy who has faced almost 50,000 balls in his entire career, right? which include uh, more than 50,000, which include uh, Test, Odia, Kiroti, and IPL. Right? Where does all the information is storing? Where does all the information is available? Not only this cricket, right? Not only this guy, every other player, like Sajid Dekler, like Rohit Sharma. Like oh, Virat Kohli, everyone's information is available in a where the where the information is available, the information which is available in a database, the information which is available in the database, right? For this, we require a database. So let's talk about some of the questions we have discussed yesterday. Also, Facebook, which is found in 2004, YouTube, 2005, Twitter, 2006, WhatsApp, 2009, Phone Pay, 2018. Let's say what is happening, all these things, wherever they're using, they are storing the information. 
For example, if you talk about Anil, how many transactions have done last one year? Let's say last one day, phone pay transaction probably could be three to five. Yes. Where does the information store? In the history of phone pay. In the history of phone pay? That means, uh, does the phone pay have the ability to store all the information of all the customers? History is available. Of course, in history, all the information is available. But the yes. information which is which is available in the database, right? Yes. Yes, right. So, to store a huge volume of things, what we require? We require a database. So, why do we need database? So, as we have seen in the new age of data, as we are living in the data world, as minute by minute, second by second, hour by hour, each day, we are generating huge volume of data. Take an example of Facebook. How much data is being generated? Let's say Facebook, let's take an example of LinkedIn. How much data is being generated? Let's take an example of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Instagram, Amazon. What's up? Every other platform is generating huge volume of data. As I expected, the data growth in terms of annual size of global data sphere or explosion of data by 2025, which is a 175 gigabyte. Uh, if you observe the data from 2010 to 2025, the data has been increased exponentially. The data has been increased by exponentially. The data has been increased by exponentially. Right? So, data has been increased by exponential. Why do we need data? Basically, the four characteristics of data is, one is about store, update, delete, and search. So, only these purpose, we require the data. Only for the purpose of store, update, delete, and search. Already we discussed about this point. So, what is database? Also, we discussed yesterday. So it is a collection of data. Basically, it is organized every information electronically. Why do we need data? Some properties of data we discussed. So let's come to the today topic. Easy to understand. Database, sir, how many types of database we have? Generally. So generally, let's talk about example. Let's talk about example. One example, then I'll come to the point. So, Yaga, for your knowledge, can you tell me what are the different kind of data we have? What are the different kind of data we have generally as for your knowledge? Text images. Generally, it could be text data, image data, what else? Audio. What about next? Video. Right? And also, we have some table data also can be possible, right? Table data like customer ID, salary, right? Like this. Am I right? Anything else can be possible? Anything else can be possible, guys? Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Let's say PDF file. Let's say Word document also can be. Generally, PDF, Word, everything can be classified as a text file, text data, generally. Now, now we have, as we have seen that, we have had different kinds of data. Is it possible to store all the information in one table or one database? As one of the property of database is organized database. As soon as we discuss the term called organized. So every information, every table will be stored in, every information will be stored in RMS. For example, the information stored in the table information will be stored differently. The information will be stored of image data will be stored differently. The information of audio and video stores differently. The information of Word document and the PDF document stores differently. Generally, in the entire world, in the entire industry, there is no two different kind of databases. One is normal SQL database. Second is vector database. DB. DB is nothing but database. Right? SQL DB. DB is nothing but database. 
to store the structured data. Structured is nothing but table information. To store the table information. To store table information. We use SQL database. To store image data, rest everything apart from table, rest everything. It could be image, it could be audio, or it could be video, right? Text, anything, any other data source except table information, except table information. Rest everything will be stored in the laptop data base. That is how we classify it into data base. That is how we classify it into data base. Now, let me explain you about the one up. For your better understanding, I have classified database into two different kind of things. What are those? Can you guess what are the types of database we have? Relational database and no SQL database. The relational database, which is used for table data, some of the examples of relational database, such as MySQL. So relational database means relations. One table is relation to the other table. Like some of the examples of MySQL, Varactyl, PostgreSQL, SQLite, uh, SQL Server, MariaDB, different, different databases we use. So as the term called relational database, and the term called relational database. What do you mean by relational database? Any idea? Any, anyone can you tell me what is the word of relational? What is the meaning of relational? What is the meaning Relating of... to rows and columns. Organizing data and rows and columns. Anyone, any expert of SQL expert, anyone who is there, what do you mean by relational database? What is, let's forget about database. What do you mean by relational meaning? General meaning. Can you think about Bona? Rengaraja sir, Vital, Ravi. Relationship between two tables, uh, more than two tables. Having connection between, between all that, really, uh, uh, all that. Uh, mm -hmm. Think it, think it. Let's say it is a kind of discussion we are discussing. Of course, it is a class, but we are in the form of discussion. Let's discuss. Rengaraja sir, go ahead. Yeah, and there is a kind of relation between some attribute uh, with its behavior. Like if you say, um, you and me are an attribute and the uh, we can say the vector value is like salary right so mm -hmm. how can we relate um, uh, you and me with our attributes attributes is nothing but a kind of uh, salary or um, education um, right mm. or uh, color uh, so qualification, qualification. Those, so uh, the uh, connecting between attributes and another attributes in same com common forum is called a kind of relation Okay, very good, sir. Thank you. Let me, let me, thank you, sir. Let me explain you with a simple example. Have you ever using mobile phone? Can you tell me anyone are not in mobile phone? Can you tell me anyone are not using mobile phone? Everyone is using the mobile phone, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, everyone using. Everyone using. Surya. Yes, yes. In order to work with a mobile, what do you require? In order to work with a mobile, what is required? Network, right? Uh, network power. A network, of course, network power and all. Network is a mandatory, right? Even yes. power is a network, it doesn't matter, right? Won't work, right? Yeah. Which network are you using? Some of the people are using the network. Let's say example of network. So what are the different networks we have in India? We have a network called Airtel. We have a network called Vodafone. We have a network called AT&T. We have a network called Verizon. I mean, I am talking about both India and USA. We have a network. For example, you would like to get this SIM card. In order to get a SIM of Airtel SIM, Airtel SIM. What you need to do? If you go to Airtel store, hey, Mr. Store Manager, give me a SIM. Will they give you? Hey, Store Manager, give me a SIM. Will they give you immediately? 
Yes or no? You went to a store, you are requesting or you are asking to provide a seal. Will they give you directly? No. They will take KYC sir first. They will take, so you need to fill an application, right? Simple to say. So one of the data is application data. Simple to say. Application data. The voice is going wrong. There's not clear getting disturbance in your voice. Probably your mic has moved away from your mouth, hence getting disturbance in the voice. Thank you. Is it better now? Yeah, yeah. Shai Kashan, okay. So we have a, one of the data is called application. Is it better, as Ashad, or anyone facing an issue about my voice? No, but uh, it is clear. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we have application data. In application data, they will ask you a lot of details, such as about your name, probably, your address, right? Your other card or like SSN number. Social security number or other card. What if they lost? Your alternative, any other phone number, your mobile number. Right? What is they ask? They ask ID, ID proof. They ask you address proof. Photograph. Right? These are the different things they ask. Name, address, other, mobile, all this. Once all the details has been verified, they will provide you a SIM. When the moment they provide a SIM, they will ID also will be created. The ID is called customer ID. The ID is called customer ID. So in a table, let's say application table, it has the information about the name variable. It has the information about address. You have other number. Any alternate mobile number, what ID proof have submitted? Does address proof uh, have you submitted address proof? Any ID have you submitted photograph? Yeah, will be then check. Along with that, the moment the SIM card activated, it also generates the customer ID. It also generates the customer ID. Am I right? So this is the only one. Let's say you start using the SIM. You start using the SIM. Let's say you are a postpaid. And if you is the post -paid. end of the month, what you have to do? Will they give you a free of cost for every month? At the end of month or at the start of the month, you should have paid the bill, right? Whatever the amount have been used or whatever yes. usage have been used, you have to pay the bill, right? So then that means for the corresponding ID, the bill amount has been generated. Am I right? Bill amount. The correspond ID usage also will be generated under the usage. It could be a table information like uh, data usage, incoming calls usage, outgoing calls usage. Every information stores into the table. Right now, how many tables we have, guys? Tell me now, how many tables of information we have? We have three different kinds of tables information. One is application details. Second is about bill amount details. Third is about user details, as you have seen all. So in all three tables, one column, which is common in all three tables, that column is customer ID. For example, I would like to know how much uh, bill has been generated for Bona for the month of September or for the month of August. Let's say similarly for Upsin, I would like to understand how much bill or usage has been done in terms of incoming call for the month of uh, for the month of let's say August. So of asking all the details are available in application data, usage details are available in usage table. What I have to do? We need to combine the two tables. In order to join the two tables. There must be a one common column or common ID. That common ID is called customer ID. That is, the tables are called relational tables or relational databases. Understood? That is what the general meaning of relational database.
Is any one or not clear? Can you let me know? Is the examples are clear? Is the example is clear? If anyone not clear about the example, kindly let me know. I can explain it one more time. Anyone are asked you can let me know, please. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. Now, what is the another one we understand about the relational database? Let's take an example of uh, relational database example. I have taken the user database. Under the user database, I have taken the examples of two tables. One is the user details and the skills map mapping. In the first table, I have a three columns such as like user ID, name and skill ID. In user ID 1, name is Santosh, skill ID is 15. User ID 2, name is Mahesh, skill ID is 25. I have a skill ID. In the second table, I have a skill ID and only skills. Uh, skill ID is 15. The skills which is uh, his expertise in machine learning and Python. 25 skill ID is expertise in marketing and Google Analytics. Now, if I want to map what skill set does Mahesh is have, what is your answer? What skill set does Mahesh have based on this example? Can you tell me? What marketing skill set analytics. Does... Marketing and Google Analytics. What skill set does user ID 1 have? Already one pie, machine learning pie. Machine and machine learning and pie. So here we are trying to map. When you're trying to map these two tables, the common information of the two tables is skill ID is the common information. Based on the skill ID, we are able to map. So the data stored in the form of rows and columns. As it is a table, table is nothing but is entire table. So this is the one table, second table and first table. So two table is in the form of rows and columns of the given data. Now, any questions, any doubt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, clear, right? Now let's go back one step back. Let's say no SQL database. So as we observed, relational database works only for table data. No SQL database, which is used for unstructured data. What do you mean by unstructured data? Anything which is not belonging to structured table or structured data. Anything is not belonging to structured data. Probably which could be a which is which could be a like a text data, image data, all to store such kind of thing. We use MongoDB, NeoJ4, CouchDB, Redis, Cassandra, and all. Right. So some of the examples like NoSQL defined much more flexible. So example is one of the is called JSON file. So all the information is stored in the curly braces. And your first one is ID one name Anand skill set. We have a different skill set like machine learning and Python skill set. We have along with the skill set. We have another information is also education information school IIT Delhi CGP like this kind of information. It is a more flexible, right? So let's understand what is the SQL. Let's say as we are discussing about the SQL. Any questions? Now, if someone asks you, what is the difference between structured and so relational database and non-relational database? What do you say? Where do we use relational database? Where do we use non-relational database? Any idea? Relational database are used for structured data. Relational database is for structured data. A non-relational database used for unstructured data. Used for unstructured data. Used for unstructured data. Let's talk about as we are majorly focusing on SQL database. As we are majorly focusing on SQL, let's talk about what do you mean by SQL and all. How SQL works and all. Let's understand with a VZ examples. As already you know that 
What is the full form of SQL? What is the full form of SQL, guys? Structure query language. The full form of SQL is structure query language. Now tell me, where does the information stores? Where does the information stores? In database. In database. Where does the information stores? The information stores in database. Where does the information stores? The information stores in database. Simple say, let us information stores, information stores in database. Are we able to, as a human, Surya, as a human, will you able to communicate with the database? Does database can able to understand your language? Does yeah. database can understand human language? Or in simple word, does database can understand computer language? Or let's say com can computer understand human language? No. No. Then you have stored a lot or lot of data in database, but you are unable to communicate with database. In order to communicate with a database, we required a programming language. We required a programming language or a query language. That query language is called SQL. Majorly, SQL is used to communicate with a database. What is the purpose of SQL? What is the major purpose of SQL? What is the major purpose of SQL? Communicate. To communicate communicate with database. database. So, how SQL can communicate with a database? The way SQL write a program or a query language which can understand by the database. Hence, database can provide us the relevant information. That is, SQL statements are a command to perform tasks. So, such as uh, update the data, retrieve the data from a database. Simple, the database is having four properties. What are those? What are the four characteristics of database? Any idea? One is about search. Second one, update. What else? Delete. Delete. Fourth one? Create. Create. Create or something. Create. Create. Huh? Yes. Create. Are you sure? Alter. No, create or update is uh, same, I guess. Uh, as today as I discussed, can you can you recall it once? Read. No. Go back. The left. Go back. You see here. What we discussed? Store, update, delete, Cut. search. What is this? Not tell me. You need to tell. Search we have. Update we have. Delete. Store. What we are missing? Store. Store. Now. If someone asks you, what are the four characteristics of database, what do you say? The four characteristics of database such as search, update, delete, and store. By using the SQL statement, by using SQL commands or statement, we can perform the four characteristics or we can work on the four characteristics of a database, such as search, update, delete, and store. For example, now you may ask the question, sir, how do you store? How do you store the how do you store the information into a, in a database? Anyone can think about with a real world example as a layman? Can you think about any layman example? Anyone can think about layman example? Anyone can think about layman example, please. Come on, come on. Come on, can you think about? Try at least. Is the right or wrong? Try 
at least. Okay, let me give you one example. Have you ever been to a bank? Do you have a bank account? Yes, sir. Everyone has a bank account, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, in a bank account, in a particular bank or a particular branch, there could be a likely chances, low transaction customers, low balance account, medium balance account, medium transaction account and high transaction account. What do you mean by low, medium and high transaction account? Low, medium and high transaction account. It is very simple. Anyone who is maintaining the less than 10,000 rupees in their bank account for monthly transaction, those customers are called low transaction. Any customer who is made in the transaction less than 2 lakh rupees monthly, those customers are medium transaction. Any customer who is made in the more than 2 lakh rupees, those customers are called high level transactions. Now the question is, now the question is, I need to create a new table or a new database or a new table or new information. Who is having high transactions? Is it possible to get? From a database, from whole database, from a whole table. Yes. yes. Yes, right. So that means we are storing the relevant information, our required information. That is how we are using the characteristics of store. Suppose I don't want in my table who is having a negative balance, who is less than I don't want a customer who is not doing any transaction last six months, whose account is inactive. Inactive means those customers have not done any transaction. No incoming, no outgoing. Those simple, no incoming, no transaction. Outgoing transaction, our money is not coming to the account, going out of the account. Those customers are in inactive customers. I want to delete those customers. I want to update the information, right? All the tasks can be performed by using SQL statement. Simple to say, SQL statements are used to perform update data on a database, retrieve the or extract the relevant information. Some of the common databases, such as some of the common databases, such as about Oracle, Sybase, Mice, Microsoft, SQL Server, and all, right? These are some of the common databases, such as Oracle, Sybase, and all. Now, let me ask you, let me, this some of the common people use, right? The history, just for recall purpose, initially the people used to call as a SQL, but uh, structured English, lang English query language. Due to some copyright issues, now, later on it has been changed, C SQL to SQL. And this product was developed by IBM. These are the Raymond and Donald. These are the two scientists or two programmers have created this programming language. Just they have given a beautiful language because of this n number of jobs been created over the years. And just we are recall their names. It is a just right. We are recalling their names. Nothing else, right? So, now. Let's say how data being stored in a database, how data being stored in a database. Now, so far, any questions, any doubt before I go to how data being stored in a database or not? Uh, I have one question. Yes, please uh, SQL, go ahead. SQL is the only way we can communicate to any database exist in the world or any other options also available. SQL is the only, but SQL could be in the many form, like Terra, Terra Data, Varakil, and all. But with the minor changes, initially started with the SQL only. If you know the SQL, you can easily learn any programming language like MySQL 
or you can say teradata you can say T tsql like that okay yeah. so different companies have created the different name but the structure of the programming that is the same sql microsoft with the mysql like teradata the tsql something like that okay yeah right hmm. let's say we have a banks right so everyone does the same task but different banks we have different things now any questions any doubt anyone guys come on any questions can you let me know no questions no questions perfect okay let's say now everyone have a doubt or a curious curiosity how data being stored in a database do you have curiosity yes yes sir yes right let's see how data being stored in a database so i have taken simple example so can you tell me does it look like a table yeah yes yes, yes now sir. here can you see position title education requirement functional area max pay minimum pay these called as header header is also called as the column names like for example for position title under the position title we have four different titles such as executive assistant recruiter software engineer software quality assistant engineer this these are called as the rows particular row as we look into the table let's take an example let's say easy to understand an example open excel open excel so here can you see in the excel this is the excel sheet when you open the excel sheet uh, we have a b c d e f g h like these are the columns right these are the column names 1 2 3 4 5 these are the rows so generally columns are denoted with the categorical like alphabet rows are generally denoted with numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 let's see i have stored some information how i am storing the information id like name of the person salary and i am also taking the consideration of location right we have an id name salary and location let's say id is one two three like say one two four let's say one two three name can be let's say can i take the one name can who is take the whose name can i take anil salary what is your salary anil what is your salary not working. Can you tell me on salary or your dream salary? 12 lakhs. Per month? Huh? Per annum or per month? Per annum. Per month. Okay. Where are you from? Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Very good. Let's take one, two, four. Who, who can take a volunteer of the name? Who can give your name? Let's say as they're taking the boy name, let's take Hima Varsha. Hima. Let's say, Hima, what is your salary? Fifteen lakhs. Fifty lakhs. Oh, nice. Is it a dream salary or current salary? Dream salary. Okay. Where are you from? Ongol. Okay, Andhra, AP. Let's take one, two, five, one more boy name. Let's say who will be a active guys? Ravi. Ravi, where are you from? Salary, what is your salary, Ravi? Four LP. Okay, great. Okay. Where are you from, Ravi? Uh, Hyderabad. Okay, let's say I already use the name Hyderabad. Let's say I'm using it, Bangalore. Let's say I've taken three records. Let's say I've taken the three records.
Now, here the one which highlighted in the red color, the one which highlighted the red color are called as the column names. The one which are highlighted with a green color, sorry, blue color, are called as the rows. The one which highlighted the red color are called columns. The one which highlighted the one, to, let's say the one which I highlighted, the one which I marked as a background color is the, what is this color? Pink color or orange color. This is called value or field value. Same thing I explained here also. Right? Entire thing I call it as a row, column, particular value. It could be engineering or anything. Our entire thing, the combination of rows and columns are called as the table. Now, simple to say, data being stored in a database in the form of table. Table consists of a value. It could be a number, numeric, or it could be some alphabet such as characters or category. Uh, it is a combination of rows and columns. The header column, header is called as the column. Uh, below, the, uh, below the header are called as the rows. It is not fixed. If you want to expand the table, which could be up to, in a, it could be millions of data you can store, right? That is how the table being stored in a database. Collection of tables are called as the database. In a database, can you guess how many tables can be possible to have? Only one table, two tables, 10 tables, or 100 tables? Or 1,000 tables. Is there a limit for tables? What is your idea? Any idea? No limits. Rangaraj sir, go ahead. Yeah, there is no limit uh, to the tables. There is no As long limit. as they have the size, yeah. Yeah, unless until it hits your storage. If the moment it's storage, it will full. You can keep, you can create n number of tables. In an organization, do you have only one database or do you have multiple databases? Multiple. Multiple. For example, in a bank, transaction data, one data, one database can be possible, can possible to have. Credit card information can have another database. Loans amount, another database. Application data is another database. Mortgage loans, another database. Gold is another database. DMAT account is another database. Let's say stock market data, a transaction, another database. Mutual fund data is another database. So in an, in an organization, one organization, there is a likely chances or there could be a possible to have multiple tables or multiple databases. There is no limit to have only one database or anything like that. Okay. Now I hope you are clear about this. So why SQL is important? So if you look into that everywhere for data processing, data extraction, SQL being used as the primary tool as compared to the rest of other tools or techniques or other tools, programming languages. Now, more than 50% of data being occupied by the SQL only, SQL could have different names. Oracle, for example, or AWS, they use the Redshift, right? If I go to the Amazon, they use some other name for the SQL. Suppose if I go to the Teradata, they use other name. Suppose if I go to Google, they would use other name, BigQuery. If I go to some other thing, they use some different name. Ultimately, the concept of build uh, the structure, which is exactly like as a basic SQL, which has been created by IBM. If you know about the SQL language, it is very easy. You can implement anything which is related to the data processing. So let's guys, uh, let's discuss about WLAP and OLTP tomorrow.